Welcome! In today's video, we'll do tiling. We create tiling in two ways, in 2D on the layout and also in 3D. Let's look at the visuals of what the finished bathroom will look like. We will create several tiling styles, so we can cover several walls quickly and easily. We also discuss mosaic tiling. Let's get to it. I change the views because we are going to cover the opposite wall first. By activating the floor plan, we select the wall on which we want to create the tiling. Then, from the context menu, open tiling, tiling on wall side. In this case, we get the layout of the wall, which we place on the floor plan. The cover command is divided into three parts, background area, tiling and editor command. First, we specify the floor area we want to cover. Here, we select the profile with internal island option, so we can easily select the area to be covered. Now we have to choose the color of the grout. I choose a white grout. The floor space has been completed. Place the tiles on it. We need to select the tile first. To do this, create a new material. Here we choose to create the new material by clicking on the small gear icon. The material is created with texture. Select the already saved image file and set its properties. We first give the usual style. We choose porcelain. Adjust the reflection of the tile. I take it a little lower. I specify the height and the width. I make it as 80 by 80 cm, then save it to the library with OK. If necessary, we modify the category subcategory. We accept with OK. OK, we select the material that we made. The page width and height are the displayed here. You are set to rotate the tiles randomly. The grout is taken at 1 mm, then laid with OK, and the position of the tiles is adjusted. Close the command. You select Finish or Close and Remove Layout. If you select the later, the expanded image is deleted from the drawing. And if the Finish, the program keeps it. This is good because if you want to change it anytime, all you have to do is click Edit from the shortcut menu on the layout. And now we will be working in 3D, but first we create a new tiling style, which we can do under the menu item Interior Properties Tiling. A new tiling style is already set here. I delete the rows and create a completely new one. We must first select the type of the tile. From the built-in patterns, I choose the herringbone pattern. I set up your materials. I want to use this green on one side as well as the other. I adjust the thickness of the grout and the size of the tile, which will be 30 by 10 cm. Here too I set up a random rotation of the tiles. We are done with these settings. OK, we accept this. Now we need to specify the height to which we are covering with this tile. It should be 80 cm. The joint should be oil green. In placement, you can set it to fit left, right or center on the wall. That is, you can adjust its position. I will choose the center now. You may want to create the style in three different locations. We are ready with the first line. The next line will be a gold strip. From the rectangular patterns, we look for gold in the library. The height of the cover will be 1 cm and the joint should be the same gold. 
we also center the location. It's done. In the next row, we cover with the same green tile, but not in a herringbone, but simply by placing the tiles next to each other. We clicked on the first line to use this property for the new line. Clicking to insert display the third row with the properties of the first row. The height of the tile should be 20 cm. The size of the tile should be 50 by 20 cm. It's done. For row 4, we create the same gold strip as row 2. Activate line 2 and click the insert button. This completes line 4. Row 5 is the same as row 1, so it will be the green herringbone tile again. Therefore, activate line 1 and click insert button again. We adjust the height to, for example, 2 meters. So if you are covering a wall with an internal height less than 3 meters, the covering will always go up to the top of the wall. This created the tiling pattern. It is recommended to save or work as a tiling style in the style directory. It is saved as part of this project or you can make it available in all projects. I activate the style and close the dialog box. We switch to 3D view. We will apply the created tiling style to multiple walls. Right click on the wall and then click tiling, select and place tiling style and on this wall only. The dialog with the active style is displayed. If we need another style, it can be selected from the library. Close the dialog, the tiling appears on the wall. We also clicked on the wall next to it, so the tiling will appear on it as well, since we haven't closed the command yet. Now we close the command with escape and choose another view. Now we will modify the tiling of this wall. I have already created another style. That is what we are going to cover. Right click on the wall and change tiling style. I activate the Fontana style from the library and then close the dialog. The cover has been updated. We are still in this command. So I will select other walls to be covered in a row. We want to cover with this style. We are done. In the next step, the back of the shower wall is styled. Let's change the views. Right click on the shower wall. Choose tiling, select and place tiling style on this wall only command. In the already known tiling properties dialog, you can select the tiling. In the pop-up mosaic tiling box, you can select the different tiles that make up our mosaic pattern. A maximum of four and a minimum of two tiles can be used as mosaic pattern. Here we select four tiles for the mosaic. Row green, dark green, light green and gold. We adjust the sizes. The small mosaic ties will be 3 by 3 cm. This is the basic size. For the other three ties, you can specify how many times the ties will be used. So you can use ties of different sizes and proportions in the mosaic. For example, it may contain rectangular patterns as well. In our case, each part will be 3 by 3. The grout size and color are set to olive green. Now we will dealing with the flooring. The floor is covered with marble. By right clicking on the slab and selecting tiling, tiling, full area, we select it and clicking on the slab. The rectangular slab is selected and then the material of the slab is given, which is marble. The size of the grout is one millimeter. The material is white. Place the tiles on the floor, specifying the starting point and the direction of the tiling. The slab under the tub is also covered by repeating the previous steps. We start with the side of the slab. Here, when specifying the starting point of the tiling, make sure that the joints run with the previous tiling. 
when even cover of the top of the slab, here we also fit the joint. We are done with the tiling and now we are going to create a wall view. Activate the floor plan. First adjust the wall view. Choose Documentation Wall View Settings. The representation mode is an image and the visual style is realistic with edges. Then select Wall View, Single Wall View. We click on the wall from which we take a wall view. Pull the arrow to define how deep your wall view should be. The wall consists of two wall sections, so we need to change the width of the wall view. Click on the blue line to change the offset. We accept and enter the wall view, which is placed on the floor plan. The wall view is dimensioned and scalable. For walls, the small figure indicates which wall view it belongs to. Now create an Excel list of the tiles. This can be accessed under Documentation Quantity Takeoff Excel List. We choose the tiling from the options. It is set to list only the tiling on the walls and the slabs. We accept and then save the file as tiling. In the list, we get what kind of tiles we placed in the project, what the size is of the tiles, how many square meters are needed from the different tiles. It also lists how many tiles are needed, how many cut lines are larger than 50% of the original size, and how many tiles will be cut to be smaller than 50 size of the original size. We are done with the tiling entirely. Now let's look at the photorealistic image. Thank you so much for watching this video.